Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral. Integral from 0 to 1, x raised to the t a of 2 minus 1 over x raised to the t a 2 plus 1 times natural log of x dx. Okay, how to begin? Well, uh, first uh, here we have uh, t a of 2, t a of 2. I think you know about uh, t a of 2 because in the previous video uh, we discuss about uh, t of 2 so uh, we know t of 2 is a constant um, end of the video uh, we can consider uh, what is the t of 2 so before it now i'm going to define a function uh, f of m n f of m n is equal to integral from 0 to 1 now here we have a constant here also we have a constant but uh, in this video this question uh, the constants are same but uh, if you have a different constant uh, sometimes uh, you will have to solve uh, with a different constant therefore I am going to take uh, here x to the m minus 1 over here I am going to take x to the n plus 1 times natural log of x dx now i'm going to differentiate with respect to m so uh, derivative of f of m n uh, with respect to m uh, we know here we have uh, in the numerator x to the m times natural log of x so this natural log of x get get cancelled so we have x to the m over x to the n plus 1 dx okay then uh, to evaluate this integral uh, we can take a substitution so i am going to take x to the n is equal to t now differentiate n times x n minus 1 dx is equal to dt now we can plug in here uh, so we can write here uh, limit we know uh, lower limit and upper limit also 0 to 1 so 0 to 1 now x we know t to the 1 over n so here we have t to the m over n over x to the n we know t so t plus 1 and dx dx we know uh, dt over n times x to the n minus 1 but we know x is equal to t to the 1 over n uh, so we have uh, n times t to the t to the n minus 1 uh, over n so t to the n minus 1 over n okay then uh, we know n is a constant so we can take outside of the integral sign integral from 0 to 1 now in the denominator we have uh, t plus 1 this t to the n minus 1 over n we can uh, more to the uh, numerator so here we have t to the m over n minus n minus 1 over n d t okay then uh, we can simplify so we can write this is equal to 1 over n integral from 0 to 1 uh, now here we have t to the sorry t to the m minus n plus 1 over n over t plus 1 dt we saw this integral integral from 0 to 1 x to the n over n plus 1 uh, sorry x plus 1 uh, dx is equal to 1 half times digamma of n plus 2 over 2 minus diagram of n plus 1 over 2 uh, in a previous video we saw this one uh, i will add the link in the description and also make a card so now here we can write uh, this is equal to uh, 1 over n here 2 so 1 over 2 times n 1 over 2 times n integral from uh, sorry not integral uh, parenthesis here diagram of diagram of n plus 2 over 2 so we can write m minus n plus 1 over n plus 2 over 2 
minus di gamma of n plus 1 over 2 now n we know m minus n plus 1 over n so m minus n plus 1 over n plus 1 over 2 okay now uh, we can simplify so we can write uh, here uh, derivative of f of mn with respect to m and this is equal to uh, 1 over 2 times n 1 over 2 times n now di gamma of di gamma of here uh, 2 times n minus n so plus n therefore m plus n plus 1 over 2 times n minus di gamma of uh, here plus n minus n get cancelled m plus 1 over 2 so 2 times n okay then uh, here we have di gamma function now i'm going to integrate both side uh, with respect to m therefore here we know this is equal to f of m n f of m n and uh, this side now uh, we should integrate uh, di gamma function we know uh, the derivative of derivative of uh, natural log of gamma of x is equal to di gamma of x so if we integrate di gamma function we have natural log of gamma of x and uh, when integrating we know uh, we should divide by the coefficient of the variable m so we know 1 over 2 times n therefore we should multiply by 2 times n so here also we should multiply by 2 times n then this 2 times n get cancelled so here we have natural log of gamma of m plus n plus 1 over 2 times n minus natural log of gamma of m plus 1 over 2 times n uh, plus c constant okay now uh, according to property of natural log uh, we can write uh, this is equal to f of m n is equal to natural log of natural log of gamma of m plus n plus 1 over 2 times n over gamma of m plus 1 over 2 times n plus c now uh, we should find the constant uh, c therefore i am going to take f of 0 comma n f of 0 comma m so when m is equal to 0 when m is equal to 0 we have 1 minus 1 so we know f of m n is equal to 0 and uh, here we have natural log of natural log of gamma of now m is equal to 0 so n plus 1 over 2 n n plus 1 over 2 times n over gamma of uh, here 1 over 2 times n because m is equal to 0 plus c now we know c is equal to c is equal to minus natural log of gamma of n plus 1 over 2 times n over gamma of 1 over 2 times n okay then Mm. now uh, we know f of m n f of m n is equal to natural log of natural log of gamma of gamma of m plus n plus 1 over 2 times n uh, over gamma of gamma of m plus 1 over uh, 2 times n uh, then c we know minus natural log of so uh, minus natural log of gamma of n plus 1 over uh, 2 times n over gamma of 1 over 2 times n okay then uh, now we can Mm, right here according to property of natural log we can write natural log of natural log of gamma of 
m plus n plus 1 over 2 times n times gamma of 1 over 2 times n over gamma of m plus 1 over 2 times n uh, times gamma of n plus 1 over 2 times n and we know this is equal to f of m n now we need to uh, f of uh, t a of 2 comma t a of 2 now we know uh, t a of 2 t a of 2 we know uh, ramanujan's taxi cab number uh, 1729 therefore uh, we can write here natural log of natural log of uh, gamma of uh, m plus n so we should multiply by 2 and plus 1 so we know uh, 3458 plus 1 so 59 over 300 3458 uh, times uh, gamma of 1 over uh, 58 over now here we know uh, m and n is equal to uh, t of 2 so gamma square of gamma square of m plus 1 uh, 1729 plus 1 so 30 uh, over 2 so 865 over uh, here in n we know 100 uh, 1729 okay uh, this is the answer if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching